We have known for decades that sports are great for the physical body. But what about mentally? Can school sports hinder the effort put into schoolwork? Or can they set up a foundation for academic success? We ask students, faculty, and parents what they believe high school sports does for the average student. I play baseball. I play baseball. I play soccer. I play baseball. I play baseball. Personally, I mean, I don't really think so because I've been playing school sports for a long time and it's kind of just like how I function. I know how to work and I just know how to get all my stuff done. Go. I would say at first my grades go down, but then they go back up because you have to take into account the time that the sport takes. But then once you get adjusted, your grades go back up because now you have more time to spend on school and work on athletics and your academics together. Well, being a student athlete means that I have to be at fencing practice every single day from 3.30 to 6. So homework gets a little tight. I have to kind of stay up till uh, about 12 o'clock. I uh, started a new thing, it's called going to sleep in the morning. Uh, that's basically all the time I have to sleep is from 1 o'clock to 6 o'clock when I wake up basically doing homework and studying. Researchers at Michigan State University determined that students who participated in vigorous sports did 10% better in science, English, math, and social studies compared to the non-student athlete. Studies have shown that 74% of male athletes have a 3 0.0 GPA or above, compared to only 64% of non-athletes. The trend continues with female athletes, 87% of which have a 3.0 GPA or above, and only 75% of non-athletes that are female have a 3.0 GPA or above. And why? Uh, yeah, I think not playing a school sport would increase your grades. You have more time to study, do all your work and it's just a little bit more relaxed because you have more time to do everything. Well, I think that sports has helped me improve in many areas academically. I think it helps me prepare with my time preparation and my time management skills. Like, in practice, if you're always late, you're not going to be able to be the best of your ability and that may cause you to lose a game. You may not be able to make the big play, you may not be able to come through for your team. I wouldn't say that it affects my schoolwork in a negative way, but I feel like schoolwork would be a lot easier if I I think so. I think it depends on the student. Uh, I think that's probably the best answer, but I think overall the most part, yes. Studies conducted by Angela Lumpkin and Judy Favor about high schools in Kansas have shown that out of over 17,000 students, non-athletes have an 87.9% graduation rate, while athletes have a 97.6% graduation rate. A study by Laura Altavelli showed that children and adolescents who pursue sports activities have been shown to exhibit more active brain function, better concentration levels, and classroom behavior, and higher self-esteem more than their less active counterparts, which ultimately leads to greater academic gains. Laura also goes on to state how in the 2002 Brown Center report on American school performance, schools with top-ranked baseball, basketball, and football teams were found to have better state achievement exam scores than those with less successful sports programs. This shows that they were able to integrate excellence at sports into a whole broader culture that encourages achievement. Sports require time and energy, but surprisingly, that doesn't come at the cost of academic performance. Sports participation is associated with higher GPAs, lower dropout rates, and stronger commitments to school compared to the average non -ethnic. So we got two to three hours. Three hours. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, when there's a break, I kind of feel weird not having a sport or not doing any, um, you know, activities after school. So uh, I think it's good to um to do a sport and to be after school, uh, you know, hang out with your friends and doing homework and then be on a team. Um, I think it keeps me a little. I, I think it keeps me regimented. Uh, to a schedule, um, and uh, it makes me manage my time a lot better. So, I think that they have to learn before a lot of other students how to balance 
um, athletics, high balance, school work. I think it also depends on each individual student, like their case, their um, course load, whether it's the AP classes, honors classes, regents level classes, and how much you know they can handle. Can handle. I've been checking my athletes' grades since the first time that I started coaching. Um, even when I was volunteering as a coach, I would impromptu do it by just talking to students about their grades and making sure that they had everything on the right path. Then when I became a full-time co uh, a full coach, uh, you know, paid coach, then I was making sure I made it a little more official. Start. Um, what really made me do this is that I feel that athletics is a part of the whole. It's not the be-all and end-all for, for athletes or the students. It needs to be a part of that. And the fact of the matter is that it is a privilege to be involved in an athletic competition or an athletic team. You have to show that you deserve that privilege. The results of it have really been positive for the most part. Students that want to be involved in the sport, make sure that they take care of their grades. And if they don't take care of the grades, they don't participate. So sometimes you have a few students that don't want to participate, don't necessarily want to do their homework, but maybe this is that last little bit of incentive that they need to make sure that they get the grades that they do. Most school districts have eligibility requirements that require athletes to maintain a certain GPA if they want to play their sport. Absolutely. Even the most studious child has a lot of extra time. And spending that extra time playing youth sports, I think, is a wonderful thing. They, um, they have a lot of fun, they develop lifelong friends, develop leadership skills, and I totally support uh, uh, high school athletics. Yes, I think students should all play sports if they can. Not everyone will excel at it, but it's all to have uh, an all-around experience in school, not just academics. Yes, when you talk about my children there, in general, very good students, but occasionally when there's some slippage, I tell them that school work comes before sports. And together we've made decisions on how much extracurricular sports we participate in, uh, so not to interfere with our school. I think that all uh, students should have a uh, criteria that if their grades aren't kept up, then they should uh, not be able to play the sports. It's hard with all the sports and all the practicing, but you have to make it work. In summary, results from more recent studies suggested that participation in high school sports was positively related with higher grades, higher graduation rates, and higher scores on ACT tests and state assessments for athletes than compared to non-athletes.